All right, guys, here's the study guide. I'm going to work out the problems, and uh, you can follow along and check your answers as I go. All right, 2x minus 3 equals negative 7. So I would, oops, I got a brand new pen here. So I would add 3 to both sides to get 2x equals negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. I would then divide by 2x equals negative 2. That's my answer for the first one. All right, uh, negative 4 equals k plus 3 divided by 2. So the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2 to both sides. Those cancel each other out. And I get 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8, equals k plus 3. Opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. So I get k equals negative 11. That's the uh, second answer right there. All right. Negative 5 times the absolute value of 3 plus 4k equals negative 115. All right, so what I need to do then is since it's being multiplied by negative 5, I need to do the opposite and divide by negative 5 to both sides. Negative 115 divided by negative 5. I'm going to grab a calculator just because, why not? They're tools. 115 divided by 5 is 23. Two negatives make a positive, so I get the absolute value of 3 plus 4k equals 23. All right, now, actually, by we have two answers, so there's two equations. 3 plus 4k equals 23, and 3 plus 4k equals negative 23. Positive and a negative. Subtract 3, subtract 3, you get 4k equals 20, divided by 4, k equals 5. Yay! Subtract 3, subtract 3, you get 4k equals negative 26. Divide by 4, divide by 4, you get k. k equals negative 26 divided by 4. Can't be done, but you can reduce it to negative 13 halves. And if you really want to, you could go negative 6 and a half. So it equals 5 and negative 6 and a half. All right. So I would do distribution here. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12p equals 2 times 2 is 4p. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. All right, I'm going to start by, I'm going to subtract 4p from both sides. I get negative 6 minus 16p equals negative 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Oops, I add 6. That's right. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. There's a value for that. You get negative 16p equals negative 6, negative 2 plus 6, which is negative 4. I'm going to divide by negative 16, divide by negative 16. p equals, uh, geez, it comes out to 1 fourth, isn't it? 4 sixteenths, which is 1 fourth. That's the answer. Okay, next page. <clears throat> Solve the following absolute value equations. All right, again, absolute value of two equations. They're ready to go. You have the x plus 6 equals the positive 2x. You have the x plus 6 equals the negative 2x. Subtract x, subtract x. We get 6 equals x. There's one of them. Subtract, uh, subtract x, subtract x. We get 6 equals negative, let's see, negative 3x, divide by negative 3, you get x equals negative 2. There's the other answer. However, do you notice negative 2 times 2 is 4, so this actually cannot be an answer, so the answer is x equals 6. Okay. All right, x plus 8 equals the absolute value of 2x plus 1. So we got absolute values equals absolute values. It doesn't really matter. You just have to make one the opposite. So over here we have x plus 8 equals 2x plus 1, the positive of it. And we have over here x plus 8 equals negative 2x minus 1. It's the opposite. So we have the positive and we have the opposite, the negative. Subtract x, subtract x, subtract 1, subtract 1. I would get 7 equals 1. Subtract x, subtract x, add 1, add 
1, so I get 9 equals negative 3x, so x equals negative 3. Cool. So we get 7 and negative 3. All right, how many solutions? How many solutions? Now you can use decimals and you can type this equation and you can type this equation and see what happens. Well, this equation would, that would go like this, this one would go like that. They intersect once, so that has one solution. If I do the math, I get 8x plus 16. 7x, I get 8x plus 8. Notice the 8x and the 8x are the same. They have the same slopes. So they're parallel lines. So there are no solutions. All right, I get 2x minus 4 equals 2x minus 4. If you notice, they're the same. It's the same line. They're always touching one another. Infinitely many solutions. Next page. You buy 13 gallons of gas at P dollars per gallon and pay 29.25. Write the equation and solve it. So the equation is 13, 13 gallons at whatever price equals $29.25. So now I've got to solve it. Basically, I go 29.25 divided by 13, and I get $2.25 per gallon. That's pretty normal. A little, little low for now. The sum of the angle measures, and the polygon is 540 degrees. Write an equation to find the value of x, and then find the measure c. So I've got to write an equation find what x equals, and then plug it in to see what c equals. So I'm going to add it all up. 85 plus 5x plus 5x plus 5x plus 5. I'm going to add all these up. So 85 plus 5x plus 5x plus 5x plus 5 plus 5x minus 10. That's all going to add up to equal 540 degrees. Now let's simplify. 5, 10, 15, 20. So I get 20x. 85 plus 5 is 90, minus 10 is 80, equals 540. Plus plus 80, I get plus 80, thank you. 85, 90, minus 10 is 80. So now i got to go 540 minus 80. I get 460. So I get 20 x equals 460, divide that by 20, you get 23, so you get x equals 23, so there's your next answer, but we're not done, now we've got to take that and plug it in right there, 5 times 23, now my light's turned off, 5 times 23 is 115 minus 10, it's 105 degrees, woohoo, alright, number 6, <clears throat> There are 12 players on a soccer team. The coach decides to buy each player a soccer ball and a jersey. Each soccer ball costs $8 and he spends $360. We would like to know the cost of each jersey. So let's select the equation that represents. So there are 12 players. 12 players are each getting a soccer ball and a jersey. But we know the soccer ball. So we know it's a soccer ball, which is $8, and an unknown value of jersey, and there's 12 of them. There's 12 of them, so 12 and the total is 360 degrees. So now we got to just look here. So it's not this one. Uh, that's as if the soccer ball is $12 each. That's $8, but 12x. It's only one soccer ball, but there's 12 soccer balls, so it's going to be this one right here. Okay. So now, if we do the math here, what's the cost? And now we got to solve this for x. We get 12x plus 96 equals 360. Now we got 12 times x, 12 times 8. We have 96 from both sides, so 360 minus 96. I get 12x equals 264. So I divide 264 by 12. Your x equals $22. So that's the answer is $22. Okay, on the back, solve the equation for A. All right, <clears throat> I can do this. A is right here, but A is also there. So I'm going to add 3A to both sides. So I get 4A plus 4B equals 5B. I subtract 4B. So I get 4A equals 1B. Get rid of that 4B. 
4 divided by 4. So A equals B divided by 4. So it's 1B divided by 4, so B divided by 4. Solve the equation for Y. So the Y is right here, so I've got to get rid of this plus 2X, and get rid of that divide by 2. So I'm going to subtract 2X first from both sides. I get 3Y equals 6 minus 2X. They're not like terms, so I can't combine them. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. Divide by 2. So you get y equals 6 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 3 is, is just 2 divided by 2. So y equals 2 minus 2 thirds x. The equation below is used to calculate the area of a triangle. Solve the equation for h. Okay, so here's h. I got rid of this divided by 2 and can find this. I'm going to get rid of this divide by 2 first by multiplying by 2 to both sides. So I get 2a equals b times h. And then I'm going to divide by b because that's the opposite of multiplying. Let's cancel out. And h equals 2a divided by b. h equals 2a divided by b. Cool. The following equation is used to convert temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Tanya says to solve the equation for F, first multiply both sides by 5 and then divide by 9. Then add 32 to each side. So she's saying i got to multiply by 5 and then divide by 9. Well, she's actually incorrect. It's actually 5 is being divided by 9. So uh, why is she incorrect? Well, first multiply by 9. First, you need to multiply by 9 to both sides, then divide by 5, then divide by 5 to both sides, both sides. So that would get rid of the 9, and bring it over here and make it 9c, and I would divide by 5 to bring it over there, so now that's gone, we're left with f minus 32, well it's the opposite of minus 32, then 32 to both sides. So you would get F equals 9 fifth C plus 32. Cool. There's the answer key for you guys. Check the work.